Michael Carrick is Manchester United's interim manager. The club has confirmed. It looks like Mike Phelan, Kieran McKenna and Darren Fletcher are going to be part of his coaching staff. But they are only here in the interim. What I want to talk about in this video is what is next for Manchester United. Fabrizio Romano confirming that Carrick is only here on a temporary basis, that Manchester United are looking for an interim manager. What I'm going to do is run through the shortlist, run through every manager that's being linked so far to Manchester United for that position. And I want you to let me know in the comments below what you think, who you think is the best option. We're going to run through and speak about Zinedine Zidane, Luis Enrique, Julian Lopetegui. We're going to be speaking about Laurent Blanc, Brendan Rodgers, Eric Ten Hag. There's lots of candidates. Please, if you would, drop a like on this video and subscribe to United People's TV. But let's get straight into this one and let's start talking about the candidates. And the name atop of many people's lists is Zinedine Zidane. Obviously a man who was massively successful at Real Madrid. Just look at that. Three Champions Leagues. He won the was it club? Yeah, world's best club coach two times. He won two La Liga titles. He has also won is that two cup? Yeah, two Spanish Cup winners. If you're looking at his managerial history down here, you know, his points return is fantastic. Yeah, he did he did a very, very good job at Real Madrid. Nobody will question that. Uh the biggest question marks that people have about Zinedine Zidane is oh you know. He did it at Real Madrid when he had such a talented squad, but could he do it in the Premier League? Of course, you can't prove that until someone comes. In the same way, you can't prove anything until anyone's in the Premier League. But Zinedine Zidane is a name who tops a lot of lists for a lot of people. Does he top your list? You let me know what you think about Zinedine Zidane in the comments. But Zinedine Zidane, as I said, for a lot of people, genuinely is top choice. I personally question whether Zidane would uh, come to Manchester United, both... Uh, for a couple of things. Uh, would he come as an interim manager until the end of the season? I'm not sure. It really seems like Zinedine Zidane wants that France job. And the comparison I did in a live stream this morning, I said, look, Zinedine Zidane to United, if we pay him enough money, it kind of feels maybe like Di Maria coming to United before he went to PSG a year later that he actually wanted to do. I only want a manager who wants to come to United. And if Zidane has his eye on the France job, then maybe United will be wasting their time. But he is top of the list for a lot of people. Now, top of the list for me and for some people, and that's Ralph Ragnick. As I said, currently right now, if you look over here, he is the uh, managing director of sport and communications over at Locomotive Moscow. But he is a man who is steeped in experience. He's won the German Cup. He's won the Austrian League twice. Didn't know that. What else has he won? He has won the Austrian Cup twice. What's that? He's won the German second tier champion and the German League Cup winner. But look at this man's experience. My God, you, you, look, you, you need to keep scrolling. He's been a manager of Stuttgart, of Hanover, of Schalke, of Hoffenheim, of Salzburg, of Leipzig. He's been sporting director of both of them. He's been a, a global sports director for the entire Red Bull brand. Ralph Ragnick is somebody who, the more you look at him, the more you read his CV, and the more you think about what he could come into Manchester United and do, the more he just ticks every box. Uh, the biggest concern I would have would be that the Glazers wouldn't want Ralph Ragnick in because he would be too challenging, because he would be too astute, too smart, and too much of a challenge to their power structure that exists inside Manchester United. I hope that's a reason that wouldn't rule him out, but I think it probably is a reason that would rule him out, if I'm being completely honest. just That's, from, that's what Manchester United have taught me. But Zidane and Ragnick, for sure, are probably the main two names on the lips of a lot of people. But there are a lot of other candidates who are being mentioned. So what I'm going to do is run through every single one of them and we can have a quick discussion in the comments below. Next up, Luis Enrique, currently the manager of Spain. So I find these links a little bit odd because I think he's going to go to the Spain. He's going to go to the World Cup with Spain. But obviously, he has had excellent experience in the past. He was named the world's best club coach probably in the year. I imagine that he won the Champions League with Barcelona, won the Liga two times as well, and three Copa del Reyes. Have a quick look at his experience and history down here. As I said, Spain manager, Barcelona manager, Roma manager, Celta Vigo manager. He's managed in different countries and he's managed in different situations. And the Spain job is a very difficult job and he's doing good. So Luis Enrique, for a lot of people, we're seeing links saying that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo feels that Luis Enrique would be good enough and elite enough to help Manchester United get back to that top level. What do you think about Luis Enrique? As I said, for me, it's a strange one that the links are there because he's in that Spain job. I kind of be surprised if he was to leave that Spain job before the World Cup. So therefore, it's not really a conversation that we need to have. Luis Enrique won't really come in. In the same way that we're talking about Zidane and the France job, 
Enrique in Spain. It's a bit complicated. Another manager who has previous experience managing Spain, and that's Julen Lopetegui. There he is. He is currently the manager of Sevilla. He's won the Europa League before. He's won the, oh, look, the Euro under 21s. Isn't that lovely? Uh, if we have a quick look at his history, um, he's managed a lot of youth teams. In terms of what I remember about Lopetegui, uh, I remember when he went to Spain and then left Spain. Was it before the World Cup he left Spain? And then went to Real Madrid and got sacked pretty damn pronto at Real Madrid. And now he's been at Sevilla for a decent amount of time. Contracted until 2024. It's a decent contract. But what's your opinion on Julen Lopetegui? Do you think that he should be a candidate that Manchester United are considering? Or is he not, is he not elite enough? Is he not at that sort of the Luis Enrique or the Zinedine Zidane level? Is maybe Lopetegui is someone that goes a little bit sideways rather than what we need? As I said, we're doing we're having a full discussion here about all the candidates. There's lots of names getting thrown around, and I'm sure over the next couple of days it's going to get narrowed down to certain candidates. But certainly, Julian Lopetegui is on that list at the moment. I'm sure I'm butchering his name. Somebody else who I know I'd say his name, he's been linked with the job, and that's Laurent Blanc. Now, obviously, Laurent Blanc had a lot of success out with PSG in France. Four French Ligue 1 titles. Two French Cups, two four French League Cups, five French Super Cups. He's currently right now uh, he's out managing Al Ryan SC. I don't know where that is, but he's obviously got links back to Manchester United. Does that uh, does that rule him out for you? The fact that he's got links back to Man United. Do you want someone who's just got a completely clean slate? Who do you want next after Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? If we go down and have a quick look at his managerial history, as I said, he's managed France. He's managed Bordeaux and he's managed PSG and now he's gone out and he's managing Al Ryan. And of course, he had a history at Manchester United as a player. But Laurent Blanc, I wouldn't... Uh, the links have certainly been more speculation with Laurent Blanc than anything else. But the Athletic are saying that he's a potential option in the same way that the Athletic is saying that Julian Lopetegui is an, uh, an, uh, is an actual option. So I can't rule out either of those. And that's why we're having discussions about both of them. But of course, there are two managers on this list who I wouldn't say particularly are being looked at as an interim option, but they're certainly being looked at as a long-term option. And you know what I think about Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag, for me, would be somebody who I would love to see Manchester United plan for. And that's why the idea of going from Ralph Ragnick over to Ten Hag sounds dreamy. Sounds goddamn dreamy to get Ralph Ragnick in on a short-term basis and then in the summer plan and bring Eric Ten Hag in. That sounds like the sort of thing that maybe a well-run club would do. Maybe not Manchester United. Now, with Eric Ten Hag, of course, you've got his experience with Ajax. He's dominating this year. and Not, not too much dominating in the league. He's won the Eredivisie twice with Ajax. Won two Dutch Cups as well. But it's in the Champions League where he's really earning his stripes this year. Eric Ten Hag, clearly a very astute manager. A very well-respected manager. And a manager which has brought success. And also re rebuilt that Ajax team that was taken apart from 2018-19. For me, that's a big reason why I think Eric Ten Hag deserves a lot of respect on his name. And of course, another name that we can't ignore that's currently on the list. And that is Brendan Rodgers. Now, Brendan Rodgers is a name I know splits opinions of a lot of United fans. Uh, he's won the FA Cup with Leicester, of course he has. He won two uh, Scottish League titles. He's got two Scottish Cup winners and three Scottish League Cup winners and a charity shield. Look at that. He's got a charity shield in his name. Uh, Brendan Rodgers, I don't need to look down at his managerial history. I know what he's done at Celtic, at Liverpool, at Swansea and Reading, I believe, as well. Uh, Brendan Rodgers, for me, I've said this before. Brendan Rodgers strikes me as a sidestep from Solskjaer rather than a proper step up. A sidestep and an improvement, for sure. Someone who's very, uh, is a very good tactician. He knows what his philosophy is and he knows what his style is. And he would come in and it would be very clear on that. The direction would be very clear. I just question whether Brendan Rodgers would be the man to really take us up to that top table. But the question here that we really have to answer is, who are Manchester United going to go for next in terms of the, the, the length of the contract? Is it going to be somebody that we're looking at bringing in between now and the end of the season. Because if, if we're doing that, I think you've got to rule out Zinedine Zidane completely. I don't really think that Zidane will come into Manchester United and come in and then leave in the summer and then go and aim to manage France after the World Cup Qatar 2022. That's my own personal opinion. If we're looking at short term, I'm not sure you can really get a better option than Ralph Ragnick. That's my opinion, of course. You might disagree with that. But from everything I've read about him, everything I've researched and watched and listened to him, 
and his experience at every level of a football club, from a manager to a global sports director to a sports director, he's done it all. He's seen a lot. And he could get United back to the top, maybe. Who knows, right? But Ragnick, for me, certainly very impressive. The Luis Enrique rumours, I'm a little bit confused about because I don't know whether he'd leave Spain before the World Cup. I don't know why he would leave Spain. Can't rule it out, but I find those a bit strange, those ones. Now, Lopetegui, as I said, the Athletic are saying that he's gen his genuine candidate. He's manager of Sevilla. Didn't really do that well. He did well with Spain, but then he got the Real Madrid job and it all fell out. Does that sort of fill you with a bit of fear about him? Or do you think that he could do it at Manchester United? Laurent Blanc had a lot of success at PSG in France. Do you think that he could do it at Manchester United? And Laurent Blanc maybe strikes you more as a as a good interim appointment, that he might be happy to come in to the end of the season and lay the and lay the red carpet for, of course, Eric Ten Hag. I don't think we can really talk about Eric Ten Hag in an interim basis at this particular moment in time. I think we can only talk about Eric Ten Hag uh, in terms of on a permanent basis in the summer. And I think probably the same goes for Brendan Rodgers. You probably, you're more likely to be able to get Brendan Rodgers during the season if we wanted to, but I don't know whether we do. So they right now are the standout, I wouldn't say the standout candidates, but these are the one, two, three, four, five, seven managers who are being linked to United in different levels of speculation. I'd say it's more intense around Zinedine Zidane and not Ralph Ragnick, but it goddamn should be. Seriously, uh, Julian Lopetegui and Laurent Blanc are both being eyed up maybe as interim managers. More long term, you're probably looking at Eric Ten Hag and Brendan Rodgers if they were to come in. And Luis Enrique, I can't ignore the rumours, but seems a bit strange to me. Where do you stand? Who do you want to see come into Manchester United? Who do you do you think we're going to be bringing someone in on a basis of leaving in the summer, or do you think we're going to be looking and planning and maybe having Carrick and Phelan? And, and by the way, I'm not even including them in this conversation. They're not even candidates, even slight candidates for the job on a permanent basis. Do you think we're going to be having them to the end of the season? Maybe they're going to be the interim manager until someone like Eric Ten Hag. There's so many, there's so many different questions right now. There's not that many answers. And this is the, a video in the immediate aftermath of Oligan Solskjaer being sacked. You let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Make sure you drop a like on the video. And I really want to know where you stand on Zidane, on Ragnik, on Enrique, on Lopetegui, on Blanc, on Ten Hag, on Rogers. Who do you want to come in and why? Let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy, everyone.